Hello, this is FMR. My name's Stephen. Welcome to the second episode in our Lakeland 100 training series. So I do hope everyone is well. Uh, do let me know in the comments how your training is going. What are you currently training for? This week on episode two, we are gonna be talking about my first week of training for the Lakeland 100. And we're also gonna be discussing why it's a good idea to build races into your training plan. So if you haven't seen episode one of this Lakeland 100 series, then uh, go and click the link. It's probably up there somewhere, or I'll put one down in the description as well. Uh, suffice to say, I said that I was going to do 100K in my first week of training, and that's what I did, just over 100 kilometers for the week. 75% uh, of my running was outdoors, and 25% was on Zwift on the treadmill. Now, if you want to follow my training, you can watch every Zwift run, every treadmill run that I do live uh, on the Zwift Run channel. So go and subscribe to the Zwift Run channel and you can watch all of my treadmill training live or of course on demand as well. So let's break down my first week of training. On Monday was 10 easy kilometers on the treadmill. So 10 easy kilometers on the treadmill. Tuesday, every Tuesday morning, I run 500 meters of elevation on the treadmill. So I set my treadmill at 12%, so that's the highest it'll go. And I run 4.2 kilometers, which gets me just over 500 meters of elevation gain on the treadmill. And then in the afternoon, I filmed episode one of the Lakeland 100 training series using this loop here that I'm doing today. It's a 10 mile loop uh, around the South Downs of uh, West Sussex here. Wednesday, Wednesday I did a track session. So I did five times 800 meters, uh, trying to do three minutes or just under three minutes for each 800 meter rep. And I did film that track session so you can watch it. There's a link in the description below. In the evening, uh, I was taking part in a relay race, so I did 2K relatively speedily on the treadmill in the evening on Wednesday. Thursday was all on Zwift, all on the treadmill, so Thursday morning, I did the same session as I do on a Tuesday morning. A 500 meter climb, 4.2 kilometers, 12% on the treadmill, and then in the evening, I did another session on Zwift, uh, and all of those are on the Zwift Run channel. You can go and check them out at your leisure. I hadn't planned to take Friday off but I did I didn't run on Friday so we can call that a rest day uh, my plan is not uh, prescriptive particularly uh, sometimes if I if I feel like a rest day I'll have a rest day sometimes if I feel like running a double day I'll do a double day um, it doesn't necessarily have to be written in stone what I do every week uh, mainly what I want to achieve is my weekly volume and at least one fast session a week so that's that's basically what i'm trying to achieve my full weekly volume and one hard effort a week at, at least and, and some elevation gain and some elevation on saturday i did a very easy outdoor 10k because i knew on sunday i was doing a marathon the three forts marathon is a local race to me absolutely lovely race over the south downs here i did it with a friend of mine uh, called dan who has his own youtube channel called uh, run da no run run man da run man da Dan, run man Dan link in the description below uh, did it very easy very comfortable took us four hours 46 minutes to do did finish quite exhausted actually uh, but nevertheless count it as a good training run and next we're going to talk about why it is a good idea to build some races into your training block <laughs> So I have four races booked during this training block. Uh, one I've just done, the Three Forts Marathon. Then in two weeks time, we're running 36 miles around the coast of Guernsey in the GU36. Then halfway through June, I've got a 10K race in London. And then at the beginning of July, uh, Victoria and myself are running the UTS 50K. So the Ultra Trail Snowdonia, 50k very technically demanding race now i have to admit that my main reason for booking races in the lead up to a race is because i enjoy racing <laughs> 
However, you can look at it in various ways. So, booking a race can give you motivation, drive, and something to work towards during your training block. So it's not like you've got the race itself, which is months away maybe. You've got something to aim for in the next few weeks. Now you could run a race as a training race, which is what I did with the three forts race and what I'm gonna do with the Guernsey run. But for the 10K in, uh, in June, I think I might race that one. Um, and that'll give me a good level to work from to know kind of where my fitness is at. A fast 10K will tell me how my heart rate is doing. It'll tell me what my speed over the ground is like. And you may think that's irrelevant for something like Lakeland, but it's not. Um, pace, being fast on your feet is important, even in a 100 mile mountain ultra. And with UTS, well, UTS we're doing for Victoria so that she can get uh, some running stones so that she can apply for uh, one of the UTMB races next year. Um, I'm going to use that as a training run as well and it'll be a really good training run three weeks before Lakeland. It's going to give me lots of elevation, it's going to give me lots of technical trail, very much like the technical trail that we're going to run on in Lakeland. Um, and so that's going to be a really useful bit of training as well. So building races into your training block can not only motivate you, make you accountable, give you something to look forward to, but it can be really good training as well on, on uh, places that you don't normally run. So I run this trail all the time. Uh, so it's nice to go somewhere different. And it also makes your training block exciting. You know, something different. Not the same old trails all the time. That's why it's really good to build some races into your training block. And that is it. Thank you very much for watching. That's it for episode two of the Lakeland 100 training series. If you haven't seen episode one, go and watch it now. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching everyone. And we crack on with the training. This week, we're gonna do another 100 kilometers of distance. We're gonna do about 1,500 meters of elevation gain. In episode three, we're going to talk about heart rate, heart rate training, and a little bit more about 80-20 running.